Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hope you're having an amazing day. If you followed the channel for any length of time, you'll know that while I'm interested in all things PC gaming, console gaming, and well, just technology in general, GPUs have always been perhaps one of my first loves. And I fell in love with graphics cards quite early, back in the early days of 3DFX's Voodoo lineup, just so you know. So obviously we have RTX 50 as well as RDNA 4 waiting in the wings for their respective announcements, but we can't also forget Intel's Battle Mage, and it does seem that it's going to be announced or potentially released in December. There have been a plethora of rumours regarding this previously, but Thomas on Twitter, who I follow, and I'd encourage you guys to do so as well if you're interested in hardware leaks, has basically stated that yes, Battle Mage will be announced or potentially released in December. Now, quite frankly, if this was all there was to say, I would not just create this video because, well, it's not super new information. Again, there have been several um, comments regarding this in the past from other leakers, but there is more. So just a real quick thing, and then we'll get into some more specifics about Battle Mage. Uh, Bionic Squash on Twitter, who is a pretty pervasive Intel leaker, has also confirmed that yes, there will be discrete GPUs which launch after Battle Mage. So that will of course be Celestial. Intel have actually already officially revealed its roadmap, although God knows what's changed. Obviously you have Alchemist, uh, which was their previous generation that's the current generation that's available uh, for example a750 is that type of thing we obviously have battle mage which we're waiting for its release and i've obviously leaked a plethora of details about that before uh, we have celestial which is going to be their next next generation parts and then finally will be druid um, now i'm hearing that potentially celestial could be mcm but quite frankly i'll believe that stuff when i see it then again celestial will also most likely find its way into the data center variant so clearly just because a data center card has one specific design it doesn't necessarily mean that desktop versions will also be the uh, same as well and also, since we're on the subject of Celestial, um, I follow Harakaze on Twitter, and uh, I noticed that they had potentially responded to an account, or sometimes just things pop up, or they've reposted it or something. Actually, no, wait, sorry, I'm an idiot. They reposted it, never mind. And uh, Hayes. 2k1 has been once again um finding some interesting information courtesy of linkedin this is a pretty small thing but i'm just going to throw it in here anyway you will notice that an engineer who has been redacted because we don't want this little fella to be in trouble uh he is a principal art architect excuse me over at the intel corporation however uh, for whatever reason he left his position in july of last year so that's 2023 if you're watching this in a couple of months time and you can see that they were indeed the lead project architect for xe plus xe free as well as xe free p so obviously these are um well battle mage gpus across multiple different forms of one another and finally on the subject of uh, battle mage Hoy, there's a lot to talk about with Battle Mage apparently. Um, that hilariously named X86 is dead and back. I'll leave it for you in the comments to discuss whether X86 is either dead or back. Uh, they have actually found some stuff in the shipping manifest uh, realm. And this is basically what seems to be anyway packaging related for Intel's Battle Mage. And you can see quite clearly it says uh, no corrugated uh, paper sleeve Intel B. MG B580. So obviously that's going to be the uh, 580 Battle Mage variant. Oh wait, did I say finally? Well, no, not quite. I also have some updates to Battle Mage's performance targets. I'm just going to go through this real quick because uh, the numbers haven't changed super amounts. Unfortunately, I can't get 100% confirmation what the tests were in so i don't know whether these are gaming I, if i um, get more insight into this i'll release another video or perhaps an update maybe on twitter or something like that but basically i was told that g21 is roughly on par with an rtx 4060 ti you can see the info on screen anyway uh, obviously it's got 12 gigabytes with 130 watts plus now basically there are different 
variants of G21, obviously, and so their power envelopes are different, and so obviously that's going to affect things significantly. G31, which are the higher end parts, so that would be the equivalent of like N44 for G21, and N48 would be, in this particular case, G31. Just to give you a rough under understanding of what's going on here, I'm sure you probably understand anyway, but it's going to be about on par with the RTX 4070 Super. And again, um, we have an extra confirmation, quote unquote, that it's going to be a 16 gigabyte part. And obviously, um, we've seen lots of leaked specifications of this card anyway, but it's nice. I ran it by one or two other people and they said that it seems roughly on par with what they've been hearing as well. And at this point, I think that, quite frankly, there have been so many leaks that it's going to be 4070 Ti level in terms of performance i can imagine that the real question of course is whether things like the drivers are up to snuff and what the price is going to be for these parts that's ultimately going to have at least my personal opinion anyway it's going to have the most impact on whether or not these cards are going to be popular and finally actually legitimately fine this time i don't know how many finalists were on in the video but uh, this one is actually going to be the final final bits and chips uh, the english account of bits and chips um they have actually stated that according to their sources um the rtx 5090 will cost around 1900 us dollars again we've seen prices that have kind of indicated that it's going to be roughly on this kind of level um you know i've mentioned a couple of times that uh, i've heard it's going to be a couple of hundred bucks maybe 300 bucks more than the rtx 4090 the thing is, though, that prices up until launch are not guaranteed. So basically, until Gents physically goes on stage and announces the price, anything can change because NVIDIA have this history of basically just making up a price at pretty much the last minute. So, for example, even if Jensen has already emailed all of his team, and I'm, by the way, I'm not saying this is the case, I'm just, I'm just pointing this out, that... Uh, NVIDIA could have had a, an email internally that's gone around to every single person in that company, including their marketing department, and Jensen has said, yep, 1900 bucks, guys, I'm 100%, I'm set. And then he's like, a couple of days later, you know, I don't know, I've managed to snag this deal for this memory, and it's managed to be like 50 bucks less, and you know what, the cooler ended up costing me a little less, I'm going to charge 1800 bucks. Now, obviously, I'm just making up numbers. I'm not saying that those are, that's all. Those are legitimate things that have happened. I'm just giving an example. So until NVIDIA essentially announces this stuff, pricing information can change up until the last minute based on a ton of different factors at the time, such as, well, manufacturing costs, like bill of materials, God knows what else. And obviously, also, this price, let's assume just for one second it is the price um, MSRP. The other big factor is obviously this is going to be the entry level cards so clearly if you're like oh you know what i'm going to buy like the msi ultra you know turbo variant then you're going to probably end up spending a couple of hundred bucks more minimum realistically it's going to cost you like 2200 maybe 23 24 2500 dollars uh, especially if you're going to go with ones that have really you know basically that could just be overclocked up the absolute wazoo it's going to be very interesting though to see what um performance figures that we actually see from these cards obviously the leaks so far are roughly 30 to 50 percent faster but it becomes quite difficult because to even know whether those are legitimate because there have been so many different variants of the specifications of the rtx uh, 50 series at this point that obviously you don't know for example is the 50 percent figure a legitimate and even if it is legitimate is that the full chip or is that a cut down variant and so on and so forth with that said guys i think that's just about it for this particular video sorry for not being on camera but uh, honestly i pretty much saw this information last minute and decided to well you know put the video out so i will hopefully return to normal as uh, quickly as possible take care of yourselves bye for now